video to the first two videos I did on a fresh air mask. Um, the fresh air mask works really well. I just today installed these tubes to clear the um, lens. One of the things that's happening is these are uh, cheap safety glasses from Walmart and right here, oops, sorry guys, uh, let me pull the lens off. Uh, right here underneath the nose um, there's sand that comes up in here and I'm not sure if it's not coming through these little vents here but I think the most of the culprit is the nose. The other thing that happens is the lens itself fogs really quickly because I'm doing close-up work. I don't know if you can see it in the video probably. I'm doing close-up work with a lot of sandblasting and so it pretty quickly f messes the lens up. Um, so you can see some of the parts I'm sandblasting here. The filter itself works great. So let me get this stuff out of the road. Hold on one sec. So one of the things I was having problems with was air being sucked in around the um, blower head. So I really had to um, hot glue gun this, this foam down. And then I cut the metal wrong here, so I had some extra foam right there. But you really want to make sure you're not sucking um, sandblasting fumes or and the other thing is is with paint you get isocyanate. So I mean I literally had to go around, if you can see I filled the crack in right there between the boards. Um, I put foam, sorry about the jiggly video guys. Um, I actually put foam in between the back piece there even though it's not able to suck air down there because there's a solid metal piece. I just went way overboard and really tried to seal it all up for a number of reasons. Um, it also hopefully gives me just that little bit more air pressure. I, I, um, since it's blowing I tried to hot glue gun that up. You can see the tiniest little spots when you're actually painting when you're doing automotive paint uh, it's not going to read that in, unless I put it in macro. There we go. You can see where that was actually blowing um, pre uh, air out. And you can see where the, when I was doing automotive, the paint sticks to where it's blowing air. And so, you know, you don't want to be breathing isocyanates and all that crap. So um, I just really would advise you to seal this up well. One of the crappy things I've got going right now is this foam... I haven't sealed up, here, let me back up, this window opening, the lower part here. And you can see my little hook I installed for paint gun. And so right now, ooh, big old B. Um, I just put this foam in, and I'm only doing sandblasting right now, so jammed that foam in there. That's just an air conditioning foam kit that you can get. And that works great for sandblasting, although I don't have that corner pushed in. Um, but as far as paint goes, you definitely would need something more substantial than that. So <clears throat> I was able to barely, barely smell the paint fumes in my positive pressure mask. Um, still, the fitment of the mask, I could imagine pulling fumes in, um, not having the positive pressure. So the mask comes off. It's a 24-foot hose. I've got it set up over here and the hose comes down and I actually when I'm done sandblasting I go behind this curtain I have hung just some thick plastic and I hang all my stuff on these hooks just outside here and uh, so back to the mask itself this was an addition today these two so I'll explain what this is so basically what I added and I put them in an angle so that out of my vision these are um, drip line um, pieces and I just drilled two holes in this and then I um, let me see if I can get that in focus is it gonna focus of course not there we go I drilled two holes in that and then hot glued them in place and then held them until they actually hardened and I tried it out, and it actually keeps the mask unfogged. So I'm really stoked about it because the lens was constantly fogging up when I was using it. So at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap this lens in some, I know it sounds funny, but in some saran wrap. 
and I'm going to do a test and see if basically I can make a one-time use tearaway type device where when I'm done I just pull it off. Um, but I will get my son in here and, and show you the fitment of the mask and oh and the other thing is on the hose what I did is I went down and got some nylon uh, strap and I hot glue gun some some uh, velcro to it and basically made a belt and what that does it goes around the upper part of my chest where my packs are under my armpits and it holds the tube for the mask up behind my head so it's not pulling the mask down on this side it's not pulling the tubes not pulling it down it holds it up so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and uh, I'm going to wrap that mask or the lens up and then I'll show you fitment. So I'm putting the mask on and testing fit and uh, I already know I have this adjusted right. Alright so what I'm going to do is test this, the goggles. They've got saran wrap kind of mushed in the lens. Like I said before I've been having problems with uh, the lens is fogging up and I also put some foam around the edge so hopefully that will cut down on sand getting inside. So I can see out of them just fine and what you'll notice is I'm sweating pretty heavily so they should start to fog up right away which they're doing. But what I should be able to do, probably try, I should be able to turn on my uh, fan setup. And then I should be able to plug my mask. In fact, I'll fit, I'll fit this the way it actually goes on. And I definitely have plenty of fresh air. And what you'll see is instantaneously the goggles actually clear up. So other hold on one sec here. Um, you know, you're trying to do this on a budget, so it never goes exactly the way you want to. But the idea is to keep the stinking sand out of coming up my nose right here and then this hopefully will protect the lens so I can sandblast and then when I'm done I can replace this piece with a new one. I may come up with a better way to uh, actually mount this maybe with a couple pieces of tape or something that might actually have been easier because I mounted it inside the lens but I got plenty of air from the fresh air mask my goggles are clear and I can sandblast as long as I want. Um, one other thing I wanted to say, hold on. One other thing that you'll want to buy are these. They're emergency ponchos. You can get them at Walmart for a dollar. And they'll keep the sand out of your ears for the most part and off your head. The other thing that you might consider buying are um, the hair things that women put on their heads to, do, to dye their hair. Those also keep the sand out of your ears because there's nothing like having an ear full of sand. So this is the fitment portion of the video and you can hear, you can actually hear the air pushing it into the mask. Uh, and believe it or not, these... Uh, these drip irrigation pieces work wonderful. I just poked holes in the top of the lens and uh, they push enough air in there to keep my sweat from fogging the lens up. Hope this helps, helps somebody. Thanks.